Yeah, he is indeed, everyone. But there we go. Last really great view of him. And I say last because I think he's possibly going to cross the boundary and head south. And there he goes. But what a beautiful, beautiful leopard. And fortunately, we've had a great view of him. His scent marking. Let's have a look. Yeah, there we go. Scent marking. This is probably the dominant male leopard in this area. There are some other leopards around, but uh, he's definitely, I think, the largest um, and still in his prime. So, let's see where he goes. Like I said, I think he's going to cross our boundary. You see, and I think with it being so cool at the moment, this wind blowing, he's probably looking for some food and um, and in these conditions it's a lot easier for a leopard to hunt he can stalk he can get a bit closer there's very little chance of uh, impala or any antelope picking up on his scent and also the sound he probably won't make as much noise it's just disappearing behind those bushes hold on a second yeah there's some impala that are alarm calling it's actually I just, I want to see something. Let's have a look. Remember, I spoke about his uh, tail and how he lifts it up. Let's uh, let's just have a look if he does do that with his impala. We spoke. Look there, he is doing it. There we go. He's doing exactly that. See, he's okay. He's scent marking there now. But did you notice he lifted his tail while he was walking? And as I explained, that's to make himself a bit more visible. Um, showing that he's no threat to the Impali once you get past them, get through this area, hopefully without drawing too much attention to him, or, but although they have seen him already. And there he goes, just south of our boundary. Well, what a wonderful view of him. Oh, that, was, that was great, wasn't it? The last view of Tingana, a beautiful male leopard. Oof.